wanted to spend a moment just talking about adapting lines to different parts of the key. I was sitting around playing just now and came across a nice kind of descending, descending major scale line. I like these kinds of contrary motion bass lines. So we're going to start here with A and C sharp, 7 and 6 on the 4th and 3rd strings. So they're splitting from A, A major. This is E over G sharp. So 7 and 6, A, 9, bass drops down to 6th fret G sharp. Then some melodic pitches. We're at E, G sharp and E. Now E, sorry, F sharp and G sharp on the 7th and 9th fret. sharp minor ninth and tenth fret of the fifth and second string coming back down a to G sharp and our first inversion B chord here so I'm getting D sharp sixth fret fifth string and G sharp descending to F sharp on the ninth and seventh frets. Now maybe that five chord, B7, will go to one. So E and B, seven and seven, with a little suspension here. A, 10th fret, then A chord with a little melodic action. A, G sharp, F sharp. And now two related dominant chord forms here. Here's B, B major over D sharp, sixth fret and fourth fret. Reaching out to B and D sharp. So some voice exchange there. The D sharp went to B, and the B went to D sharp. And those could resolve to E here, just seven and nine, fifth and third strings. Now this beginning part is the part of the part I wanted to cover. To go through different parts of the key and move the same kind of mechanism, which is the bass is moving down by step. So it's just a part of a line. Change key. So I hope you get the sense that it's the same phrase, contour, shape, move to different parts of the key. I like this one here in a Those fingerings are exactly the same. I've just started it from a D chord going to A over C sharp. So this is the kind of thing we want to be adaptable with is can we start this phrase anywhere and just see the mechanism in motion I was thinking pitch names there, definitely, but also I was just thinking relationships on the fingerboard, 
one phrase to another. I hope this has been interesting to some degree. If you can, please like, share, leave a comment. If you have suggestions for future videos, please do let me know. It's always nice to hear from you and hear what you're thinking. I hope you're having fun with your music, enjoying it, not putting too much pressure on yourself, playing things that you really love and that fill you up, make you want to do more of it. Maybe you're looking to buy a new guitar. That's always a fun thing. New Guitar Day is one of the best days. So until we meet again, I wish you a very, very good day.